Rock Project here. Today I'm joined by Jill and today we are up in Rockton, Illinois because there is a super cool event that's coming up here in the state line. And what event is that, Jill? Well, that's Rockton Pelican Fest. That's May 22nd. That will be here in downtown Rockton. It will be between 10 and 5 p.m. on Saturday, May 22nd. That's a Saturday before Memorial Day. Awesome. And so what is uh, Rockton Pelican Fest? What are we celebrating? Well, we started noticing, as I'm sure a lot of your viewers have, that the pelicans started coming in the area. In fact, it was two years ago that they were out on the island nesting, and we started seeing all these pelicans. What's this all about? <laughs> yeah, it's not something that you typically associate with the Rock River. No, isn't that cool? Yeah. And so we, we investigated, and of course, they're all over at Nigrin, and they've been on the river for several years. It's believed that they're um, here because of Katrina or Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. Kind of changed their migration pattern or something like that. And so they started coming, I guess, about 10 years ago or so. That's amazing. And so it kind of kicked off this whole idea of not just celebrating the pelicans, but celebrating all the natural beauty that's in and around the state line in the greater Rockford region. Absolutely. We're so lucky to be living in this area where we have this beautiful river that attracts all this wonderful wildlife wildlife and all these wonderful birds that migrate like the um sand is it called the sand cranes sand yeah. cranes that are in the area too um so we have lots of wonderful wildlife over here and we just kind of want to take a day and celebrate that that's awesome and so a whole bunch of local businesses and organizations and people are pulling together on saturday may 22nd to do a, a celebration right here in downtown rockton Absolutely. We're going to have some booths out on Main Street and a few booths on Prairie Street. Here on Main Street, we're going to have uh, the Natural Land Institute, Nigran Wetland, mm -hmm. um, Nature at the Confluence, and 815 outside. We'll also have uh, the Finally Art Studio. We'll have a, a booth for a make and take for the kids. And then Fun. on Prairie Street, we're going to have the Sinisippi Audubon Society. We're going to have STEM for kids. They're going to kind of talk about why birds, how birds can fly. Yeah. And then we're going to have um, H.G. Jameson House, which will have several things going on. They're going to have a You Can Win a uh, two hour um, for four people viewing session on their dock. I don't know if you've seen the house yet, but it's right on the river. It's just I hear beautiful. it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's a really cool place. It's yeah. just beautiful. And so you and uh, three other guests will be able to sit out on the dock one evening and they'll provide a um, tray of meats and cheeses that are going to come from uh, Perfectly Seasoned in Roscoe mm -hmm. and some wine. So you need to be 21. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or or look really old. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so they're gonna have that as a giveaway. They're also on their booth gonna have a make and take for kids. It's gonna be a little simple uh bird feeder, you know, out of pine cones, kind of like when we did when we were scouts type. Yeah. Absolutely. But something cool for the kids. And I'm also told that their grounds will be open that day if people would like to do like a family photo or something like that. Very fun. So there is something loaded for the whole family, whether it's arts and crafts, education, and even some photo opportunities with Jerry the Pelican. Absolutely. Jerry is a pelican that I've been making for the kids to, take <laughs> to do a photo, with. photo yes. with. Now, don't forget the food, too, because there's going to be food, too. We're going to have the mix is going to make the pelican um, donuts. Sugar Bridges is going to have pelican uh, marshmallows. They'll be also make and takes at Erica's boards. So there'll be all sorts of things. Lots of food. As always, the restaurants down here are just great, great place to be. Yeah. Absolutely. And so for those that want to uh, mark themselves as interested or get all the details for uh, the upcoming Rockton Pelican Fest, where can they go to get all the information? Facebook. They can go on Facebook to the Rockton Pelican Fest. It's on as an event, but I think it will show up just if you write Rockton Pelican Fest. And I should say the things that are going on here at the studio, because we have some things going on too. We're going to have a student art show. And that's curated by Ingrid Hyde. She's going to have first and sixth graders from Ralston and McChesney Park Elementary School kids. And they're going to show up their or put up their art. The name of the show is Art Connects Us. On this side, we'll have our make and take make and takes that you can um, also take home with you. Yeah. Kids raffle. 
we'll have Jerry, but we're also very excited about previewing the Rockton Birdhouse What's the art installation that's going to go up this summer? It's 16 birds, bird houses that will line the streets of Main Street, and we have little trees nice. on Main Street. So Super they'll put fun. those up, and those will be on show here on the 22nd. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jill, for taking the time to oh, uh, get you. together and chat and tell us all about Rockton Pelican Fest. And thank you, uh, State Line, for tuning in. Uh, if that all sounds like a good time to you, for you and your family, definitely come on up to Rockton uh, downtown and Main Street on Saturday, May 22nd, uh, to celebrate not just the great white, um, Great white pelicans? Yep. Yeah, I got it right. Uh, the, coming back to the region, but all of our wonderful natural beauty here in the 815. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support we're able to highlight uh, local events like Rockton Pelican Fest and bring all this positive community content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them, and we will catch you all on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.